Today, we finally start looking into the key piece of object-oriented programming and something that is more essential for working in Unreal Engine than drinking water. Classes. Just a disclaimer, I will not cover everything of classes today, but I try to divide it into sensible chunks over the next few videos. Today, we will look at what a class is and what it takes to create a new class for Unreal Engine. But first, let's have a look at the real world, and to be specific, the animal kingdom. When we look at a dog, we can say that they have certain attributes, features. What is the color of the fur? What is their age? What is their name? Also, we can say something about actions that those dogs can perform. They can drink, they can eat, they can play, and so on. Now, if we move back to games, and in our game we want to have several different dogs, then classes can provide the structure for those different dogs. Because it would be kind of tedious to program each dog individually, while basically doing pretty much the same for every dog. For that, a class can provide the construct on which each dog should build on. A class can have different attributes that describe an instance of this class, like in the dog example, information about the dog itself. But also a class can contain certain methods. Methods provide functionality that can be executed by an instance of this class. So in our example, things that a dog can do. Already by looking at this simple example, you can see that classes help a lot to structure your code in a meaningful way and allow you to reuse code across different entities in your game. But now the fun part. What do you need to declare a new class for Unreal Engine? I will link a video where I talk about how you can create a new class in Unreal Engine. However, now I will tell you what Unreal already does for you when creating a new class. First, you will find a header file and C++ file. I also already talked in another video about why we use those two files instead of just one. But now let's see what happens in the code. You will see that an Unreal Engine class will use a U class and generated body macro. In future videos, we will have a closer look at what those macros do in detail. But the short form is that they will make the new class work in the Unreal Engine Cosmos. Next, we have the class keyword, indicating that we are creating a new class. Then we have the API reference. This makes sure that this class can be used across the module that it is part of. So most of the time, obviously your game. However, for example, if you create a plugin, this also ensures that the class gets properly imported into other projects. So basically making this class reusable across projects. Next, we have the name of our class. When a new class is based on the actor class, it will have the a prefix. When a class is based on u object, you will see the u prefix instead. Next, we can say that the class should inherit functionality of another class. In a future video, I will explain the concept of inheritance in more detail. For now, you can see inheritance as basing your new class on an already existing class. Lastly, we define the code block for our new class. Everything in between those two brackets will be part of our new class. So here is the part where we can define, for example, attributes for our new class or methods that execute functionality. But this is basically the most fundamental part you need to declare a new class for Unreal Engine. And for now, I will leave it at that. In following videos, we will go more in detail into further concepts of classes. But if you already have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will try to help you out. Otherwise, see you next time.